Hi all, I'm going to show you today how to register new TPMS sensors in your Toyota, Lexus or Scion. This is necessary when you're switching tires and wheels, uh, let's say between summer and winter sets, um, or if one of your sensors goes bad, uh, or for any other reason if you're changing your uh, TPMS sensors that measure the tire pressure in your, in your tires. Um, what you can do with Carista is tell the car how to recognize the new sensors, and that's a necessary step. The car needs to have the IDs of the new sensors registered before it can actually read tire pressures from them. Uh, so normally you would have to go to a dealer uh, or a specialized shop to do this, but with Carista you can actually do it yourself. So all you need is the Carista adapter, or it's also compatible with third-party adapters. So it's a small plug that goes into the OBD port of the car. Very simple to plug in, as simple as plugging in a USB device. So you plug it in, the, the OBD port is usually under the dash. Um, then you turn on the ignition, that's an important step. On this particular Lexus RX, uh, it's, it has keyless ignition, so it's uh, two clicks on the ignition on the power button. So the next step is to start the Carista app, which I've downloaded from the App Store, obviously. Um, go into Service. As you saw uh, on the home screen, the Carista app offers diagnostics, customizations, and service tools. Uh, right now we're interested in the service portion here to register the TPMS sensors. It takes a few seconds to load, so let's wait for that. Don't worry, it's not stuck at 8%. It's, yeah, there you go. So uh, we have three tools for this car, tire pressure sensors, uh, detailed ECU info and emission tests. We go into tire pressure sensors. Um, and now it's going to need some time to read the data um, from the TPMS system on this car. Um, so yeah, that takes about half a minute. Let's wait for it to load. It should load all the data, uh, all the sensors, and uh, it should be able to show the current pressures that it's reading from those sensors. And of course, if a sensor is not registered correctly, it'll show a warning sign there, um, which denotes that it can't read a pressure. There we go. So as you can see, the first pressure, this first sensor here, shows a warning sign because it, it, uh, the car can't actually connect to it. Uh, the other ones are showing you their current pressure. So to change the registered ID of a certain pressure, uh, pressure sensor, just tap on it and enter the new ID. I happen to know that for this particular car, this particular sensor ends in 79B. And by the way, uppercase and lowercase letters don't matter. Uh, and then just press save. At this point, if you had, if you had not purchased the Pro access for Carista, you would be prompted to make a payment, but um, assuming, but that's only the first time, you know, so assuming that you already own the Pro functionality, uh, you'd be fine. So, registration of the new sensor is done, uh, but as you can see, the car, ah, there we go. So, I was going to say it takes a few seconds, uh, sometimes up to a minute, for the car to actually recognize the new sensor, so you would initially still see the warning uh, indicator here, uh, but you know, as soon as the car is able to kind of uh, reread the sensor, you get the new pressure reading immediately. In some cases, you may need to turn the ignition off and back on for the car to reread the sensor data. Um, so after you register the new sensor IDs, if it's not showing you pressures, um, or if it's, you still have the um, TPMS warning light, then uh, try that. Turn the ignition off and back on. Uh, of course, I'll show you now, if you turn the ignition off in Carista, uh, while Carista is here, you'll get an error because it can no longer uh, it, it can no longer read the sensors from the car. Um, but that's fine. Um, you turn it on again, and um, and Carista can connect once more. So that's how you register your new TPMS sensors with Carista in your Toyota, Lexus, or Scion. As you can see, it's a simple procedure. Uh, beats going to the dealer or to a tire shop that's going to charge you a lot of money. Um, and so just as final words, if the TPMS light doesn't go off by just registering the new sensors, 
Uh, you may have to drive around a little bit for the system to reinitialize itself. Uh, on some cars, there's also uh, a pressure reset button uh, that tells the car to take the current tire pressure and consider that to be the correct tire pressure. Uh, and again, after that, it may take some driving to um, get the system initialized. Uh, if that still doesn't fix your warning light, uh, then use the diagnose feature in Carista to make sure that there aren't any fault codes in the system. Uh, and if there are, then, you know, depending on the code, go from there. Uh, so, yeah, that's about it. Uh, if you have any uh, questions, uh, feel free to reach out to us at support at caristaapp.com uh, or just check out our website, caristaapp.com. Thanks.